Welcome, pilots! Cosmos Kramer is back at the Natura Seminary in Audern, carrying the FON strike scene evidence that Pro Galat is looking for. A storm brewing. First, a proper introduction. I'm Pro Galat, one of FON's chief coordinators in this area. As you may know, the Wercomi Corporation is trying to move into this area, corrupting the vast tracts of natural beauty found here with their horrible industry. Moreover, the piece of evidence you just brought me seems to indicate that there are things at play here far worse than we originally suspected. It appears the Wercomi Corporation has been hiring mercenaries to stage attacks on their own outposts in the area, attacks which they then frame us for in order to lessen our stature in the public eye. We need to put a stop to this as soon as possible. If we lose our lobbyist support, the Federation is likely to succumb to the deals being proffered by the corrupt Caldari business machine, and this entire area will be turned into just another locale for these corporate bigwigs to ravage. An operative of ours, Suho Tatanol, has just returned from a protest on Parshanye 2. He's a canny investigator with an eye for details. I want you to bring him the aggregated evidence we've gathered on the case so far, then report back to me. I'll have another assignment for you very soon. And we're off to pass along this highly classified information to an FON activist. We return to Pro to see what she has in store for us next. Okay, Suho's gears have started turning. The evidence you brought him helped greatly. His investigation will be a tremendous boon in our struggle against the corporate monster. We'll have to wait a while to see what he comes up with. I'm not worried about him, though. He works magic when he gets going. While we wait, I have another job for you. Our organization is staging a massive protest tomorrow in the Wercomi Corporation factory in Jolia, but there seems to have been a slight miscommunication between some of our activists. If you could hop over to the Pend Insurance Investment Bank in Agnes and bring a few bags of fetal blood over to the Wercomi station in Jolia, the Friends of Nature would be much obliged. Alright, so we're going to pick up 30 bags of actual blood acquired from a corporate investment bank to help protesters in their battle against capitalist interests. No, nope, there's nothing unusual nor hypocritical about this whatsoever. First, we'll have to switch back to Animicus for the extra cargo space. Here's the Fido blood. Let's hope these bags don't puncture and cause a mess in our cargo hold. Delivery complete. Let's also hope we haven't been conned into supplying some kind of weird ritual. Let's have a quick look at the Aura Warp Core Stabilizer Blueprint we received as a reward. It has three runs and requires some Yanjung materials. A comparison with similar modules shows that its main advantage is the reduced CPU requirements. And we're back in Audern for the next mission. You've proven yourself a trustworthy operative, so I'm going to give you an assignment slightly more clandestine than the ones you've gotten from me so far. Technically speaking, we're going to be breaking the law here, but I trust you realize we're doing what we're doing for a higher cause. Okay, that said, here goes. We just received word from our man on the inside that Wakomi have just ordered 15 high-powered drills for their prospecting operations on Flukel 5 a planet home to many unique, highly endangered varieties of flora and fauna. The drills are currently sitting at the Wakomi factory in Flukel, awaiting transport to the site where they're intended to be used. Our operatives at Flukel have managed, through their connections with sympathetic station personnel, to pilfer these tools, but we can't keep them hidden for long. We need someone to get the drills safely out to our people in the Potex station in Ognes. Head out there and show me how devoted to our cause you truly are. And here I thought I was trying to help you ascertain the truth about the attack on the Wakomi outpost. Off to gather up these drills. Drills that are capable of causing more environmental devastation than you can shake an extremely large stick at with both hands. And that's unassembled. We've dropped it off in Ognes, and can now look at this Pacifier Large Remote Armor Repair Blueprint. It has three runs, and again requires a number of Yan Zheng materials. Comparing it to similar modules, we see that it uh, isn't even listed in the Compare tool. Its attributes show that it has a lower activation cost than the Tech 1 variants, but a rather low armor repair amount and optimal range. It does have lower fitting requirements, but overall is not as strong as the other piece, Storyline version. 
Back for more activism at the Natura Seminary. Something urgent just landed on my desk. One of our industrial ships carrying a load of soil intended for our reservations on Del Tol was shot down yesterday with no survivors. We need to get some soil over there soon, or a large part of our efforts in the area will be wasted. Looks like Wakomi are using our alleged aggression against them as an excuse to gun down innocent people whose aims they don't agree with. Can't say I'm surprised, frankly, although I wouldn't have thought they'd go this far. Bring 200 units of soil to me, and you'll have done us a great service. First, it seems we'll have to switch one of these overdrive injector modules offline in order to get back enough cargo space to hold all this damned dirty... uh... dirt. If we recall from exploring all the beacons through the Elginto constellation, the municipal junkyard in Deltol might have some soil available to loot. Here we are, gathering up all the soil we can find in the disposal units. Having only managed to gather up 28 units worth, it looks like we'll need to buy the rest off the market. Looks like some helpful players have some soil on sale for a slightly inflated price right in Audern. Here's the soil you were looking for, Pro. Suho has made a lot of headway in his investigation, and the results are disturbing as all hell. What I'm about to tell you is for your ears only. I want to make that absolutely clear. It appears the attacks we've been hearing about against Wakomi assets are not being staged by Wakomi themselves, as we originally suspected. The most recent threads of Suho's investigations are, in fact, pointing squarely towards members of our own organization. I regret to say this, but it appears we have a vigilante rogue in our midst, someone who obviously has no conception of the harm he could be doing to our cause. Furthermore, there's compelling evidence to the effect that this party, whoever he or she is, have been in contact with the Serpentis smugglers operating in this area, conspiring to strike against Wakomi assets, murdering people in order to further our cause. Makes me feel dirty just thinking about it. This weed in our garden needs to be rooted out, but first we need to learn its identity. The information is being held by Suho at his office in Parchanye. Needless to say, it's far too sensitive to be sent over normal channels, so I need someone I can trust to head out there and bring it back to me. That means you. We need to straighten this situation out, post-haste. And remember, not a peep about this to anyone. Well, 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 the plot thickens. Here we are, gathering up Suho's dossier to deliver back to Pro. Hmm, pretty much who I suspected. Damn it. Okay, here's what I need you to do. Take this letter and give it to Istvia Lamouette over at the Ebony Tower in Barmalee. She's one of our most respected operatives, and a great servant of the cause. When she gets the information, she'll set the right wheels in motion. And I'm sure she'll have plenty of use for a skilled pilot such as yourself. Thank you again for what you've done for us. Good luck and fly safe. In the next video, we'll head back to the Ebony Tower to presumably finish off this business with the Friends of Nature. Thank you for watching my Galent Cosmos Mission Guide.
If you enjoy my content, please let me know in the comments or by subscribing to my channel. The more I'm aware that people are watching, the more likely I'll be to make time to continue producing content. I've also begun creating a parody news series based on the Galent Cosmos missions. It's called the Elgintel Fake News Network. The first episode is loosely based on the events from the first Galent mission chain from part four of this series, titled Activist Fuel. Thanks again, and hope to see you back soon.